brought to you by wikivd.com. Aircraft Carrier An aircraft carrier is a warship that serves as a seagoing air base, equipped with a full-length flight deck and facilities for carrying, arming, deploying, and recovering aircraft. Typically, it is the capital ship of a fleet, as it allows a naval force to project air power worldwide without depending on local bases for staging aircraft operations. Aircraft carriers are expensive to build and are critical assets. Carriers have evolved since their inception in the early 20th century from wooden vessels used to deploy balloons to nuclear-powered warships that carry numerous fighter planes, strike aircraft, helicopters, and other types of aircraft. There is no single definition of an aircraft carrier, and modern navies use several variants of the type. These variants are sometimes categorized as subtypes of aircraft carriers, and sometimes as distinct types of naval aviation-capable ships. Aircraft carriers may be classified according to the type of aircraft they carry, and their operational assignments. Admiral Sir Mark Stanhope, former head of the Royal Navy, has said, to put it simply, countries that aspire to strategic international influence have aircraft carriers. As of, there are 40 active aircraft carriers in the world operated by 13 navies. The United States Navy has 10 large nuclear-powered fleet carriers. The largest carriers in the world, the total combined deck space is over twice that of all other nations combined, as well as the supercarrier fleet. The U.S. Navy has nine amphibious assault ships used primarily for helicopters, although these also carry up to 20 vertical or short takeoff and landing fighter jets, and are similar in size to medium-sized fleet carriers. China, France, India, and Russia each operate a single medium-sized carrier, with capacity from 30 to 50 fighter jets. Italy operates two light fleet carriers and Spain operates one. Helicopter carriers are operated by Australia, Egypt, France, Japan, South Korea, Thailand and the UK. The UK is building two 280 metres supercarriers, the Queen Elizabeth and the Prince of Wales, scheduled to enter service in the Royal Navy in 2017 and 2020 respectively. Supercarriers are planned to be built by China, India and Russia. By role A fleet carrier is intended to operate with the main fleet and usually provides an offensive capability. These are the largest carriers capable of fast speeds. By comparison, escort carriers were developed to provide defense for convoys of ships. They were smaller and slower with lower numbers of aircraft carried. Most were built from mercantile hulls or, in the case of merchant aircraft carriers, were bulk cargo ships with a flight deck added on top. Light aircraft carriers were fast enough to operate with the main fleet but of smaller size, with reduced aircraft capacity. Soviet aircraft carriers now in use by Russia are actually called heavy aviation cruisers. These ships, while sized in the range of large fleet carriers, were designed to deploy alone or with escorts and provide both strong defensive weaponry and heavy offensive missiles equivalent to a guided missile cruiser, in addition to supporting fighters and helicopters. Hull Type Identification Symbols Several systems of identification symbol for aircraft carriers and related types of ship have been used. These include the pennant numbers used by the British Royal Navy and some Commonwealth countries. The U.S. hull classification symbols also used by NATO and some other countries. And the Canadian hull classification symbols. Origins 
The 1903 advent of heavier-than-air fixed-wing aircraft was closely followed on 14 November 1910 by Eugene Burton Ely's first experimental takeoff of a Curtis Pusher airplane from the deck of a United States Navy ship. The cruiser anchored off Norfolk Navy Base in Virginia. Two months later, on 18 January 1911, Ely landed his Curtis Pusher airplane on a platform on the armored cruiser USS Pennsylvania, anchored in San Francisco Bay. On 9 May 1912, the first airplane takeoff from a ship underway was made from the deck of the British Royal Navy's seaplane tender support ships came next, with the French of 1911. Early in World War I, the Imperial Japanese Navy ship conducted the world's first successful ship launch air raid, on 6. September 1914, a Farman aircraft launched by Wachemia attacked the Austro-Hungarian cruiser and the German gunboat Jaguar in Kirauchal Bay off Tsingtao, neither was hit. The first carrier-launched airstrike was the Tondern raid in July 1918. Seven Sopworth camels launched from the converted battle cruiser damaged the German airbase at Tonda and destroyed two Zeppelin airships. The development of flat-top vessels produced the first large fleet ships. In 1918, became the world's first carrier capable of launching and recovering naval aircraft. As a result of the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922, which limited the construction of new heavy surface combat ships, most early aircraft carriers were conversions of ships that were laid down as different ship types, cargo ships, cruisers, battle cruisers, or battleships. These conversions gave rise to the USS, Japanese, and British. Specialist carrier evolution was well underway, with several navies ordering and building warships that were purposefully designed to function as aircraft carriers by the mid-1920s, resulting in the commissioning of ships such as IJN, and during World War II, these ships would become known as fleet carriers. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.